Hey everybody, this is Jessica, the mommy teacher, and I was just doing an activity with Sean Patrick the other day, and I thought it would be fun to share what I was working on with him. Um, in my kindergarten class, a lot of my kindergartners draw um, a circle for the face of a person, and then out of the head, they'll draw the arms and the legs and you know then they'll draw the face or whatnot so they've got a little Mr. Potato Head so um, starting from the beginning of the year when I model drawing people I talk about how you know what do you see on your body we have a head and then what what do we have under our head our neck okay then what do we have our body okay oval shape and we'll start to draw different things just so that they can conceptualize all the different things that we have on our own body so that they'll put that on paper, which is really hard for kids, that transfer. But one thing I was working on with Sean Patrick when we were doing Play-Doh, you know, we'd roll out the Play-Doh and um, I'm going to move this paper because it's not going to roll. Um, we'd roll out the Play-Doh and this was just easier than trying to transfer it from what he could see to paper because Sean Patrick doesn't really have all those fine motor skills and doing this with Play-Doh is actually really good for strengthening his fine motor skills. So he rolled out, we rolled out the Play-Doh until it was skinny like a snake or whatnot. We talk about how we use our hands to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth or whatnot. So we then made a circle, face, and said, what does mommy have under my head? This is my neck. Okay, so we then did that. Then, I just did a little stick figure body. I said, okay, then we have a body. We made the body. And I'm not going to be able to pick this up for much longer. But you're getting the picture because you're not two. Like my son is almost three. But um, then... We out of the body, so out of my body comes my arms at the top, and then my legs at the bottom. What else do you want to give them? You want to give them shoes? Do you want to give them eyes? Do you want to give them hair? And he's like, I want to give them silly hair. So we gave him hair. Um, and then that's it. I mean, super simple. But it does start to teach kids that really important developmental my milestone um, when they are drawing a person to draw all the different parts that make up the person and not just a Mr. Potato Head image. So we work on that um, with my kindergartners too so that then once they, you know, kind of can put it in a different, on, in a hands-on approach, then it's easier for them to do the ab more abstract transfer to paper. So I was doing that with my son, just wanted to share it with y'all and I hope that's helpful if, you, if your child's still drawing Mr. Potato Heads wouldn't be a bad idea to start talking about it using things like Play-Doh or other, um, you know, manipulatives, things that they can really grasp the concept. The concept. All right, hope that helps. Bye.